Mob decided to take Peter's treehouse when he wasn't there. This is our fort now. Peter decided to fight to get it back. Now, will you help me? Heidi! Heidi, who can't stand violence, refused to help him. Instead, she came up with a plan to scare the invaders away. Joseph just gave me an idea. <sighs> the bear is coming this way! I'm leaving! Let's go over there! Peter and Heidi got the treehouse back and prompted Carl and his mob to build their own. Nothing would make me happier, Heidi. But you know, being a goat general is not easy. I know, but I'm sure Peter will teach me. You? Goat general? Uh-huh. So, will you teach me? Um, well, I'll have to think about it. But anyway, not today. Why? I'm not in the mood. Sweetheart is not feeling very well. And Mrs. Keller has decided to sell her to the butcher. <gasps> to the butcher? But that's horrible. She hasn't given any milk in weeks now. And a goat who doesn't milk is of no use in the mountains. It's better to sell her. Where is she? We have to help her. <laughs> She's at the Kellers. There's nothing we can do. Sweetheart is still theirs. It's their decision. But... Of course we can. We have to. We have to get going. You ready? You go. I have to do something for Sweetheart before it's too late. But Heidi... I might join you later. I need to talk to Grandfather first. OK, then. See you later. You're not going to the meadow. Sweetheart is ill and I need to help her. Mm. Mrs. Keller is selling her to the butcher because she doesn't give milk anymore. I need to tell her not to do that. Mm. I know it is sad, but it's how life goes. We have goats so they can give us milk. And when they stop doing that, we can't hold on to them forever. But there must be something we can do. Sweetheart is just sick and needs some time. There must be some way to help her milk again. Hmm. I'd need to see her to make sure, but blue alfalfa could work. Maybe. Then we could try and give that to Sweetheart. Maybe she would milk again. Hmm? Thank you, Grandfather. Where are you going? To talk to Mrs. Keller. Don't get your hopes up. You know how stubborn she is. Does the uncle need something up there? No, I'm here about Sweetheart. Sweetheart? Mm-hmm. I've heard she isn't feeling too well, and I know something that could help her milk again. 
Of course you would. It's too late. The butcher is coming tomorrow to take her. There's nothing else to discuss. Now, is there anything else? No, Mrs. Keller. Well then, don't just stand in the way. I'd like to help, sweetheart. I don't need your help. Hmm. May I? <laughs> Grandfather thinks there is a herb we can use to cure her. Huh? It's too late anyway. She won't be better before tomorrow. It's never too late, Teresa. You just have to believe it with all your heart. You know... It's my fault she stopped milking. Mm -hmm. The night the wolf attacked, I didn't lock the gate properly. That's how the wolf got in. Teresa, did you lock the backyard? <sighs> yes, mother. <laughs> Sweetheart. <gasps> wolf, wolf. <laughs> and since then, she has stopped milking. <laughs> Maybe you didn't lock the gate, but if the wolf smelled her, she would have found a way in. That's not your fault. You know, we should take Sweetheart to Grandfather. Why are you doing this? We're not even friends. I'm doing it for Sweetheart. That's what a good goat general would do. So, do you want to try and save her or not? My mother will never allow it. <laughs> if it can save Sweetheart, it's worth the risk, isn't it? But Sweetheart is too weak. She can barely stand. <laughs> Come on now. Sweetheart. You convinced Mrs. Keller? Uh... Heidi, did you take Sweetheart from the Kellers? I had to help Sweetheart, Grandfather. And Teresa agreed to help too. Mm. Can you tell us if Blue Alfalfa could cure her? It is worth a try, Heidi. But she's too weak to climb all the way to the mountains. Mm. But, but we can push her in the wheelbarrow. Blue alfalfa grows high up on the Big Divide Meadow. It's quite a climb, and you can't take the wheelbarrow up there. No, it's too dangerous. But, but we could get Peter to climb and get the alfalfa. Please, Grandfather, we have to save her. <sighs> all right. I'll keep her here while you go and get it. But be quick. I want Sweetheart to be back at the Kellers by tonight. She will, Grandfather. <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you, Uncle. Hmm. Peter! Huh? 
Peter! Huh? Peter! Peter, we need to... What are you doing here? And why are you after Heidi? Uh, oh, no. No, I'm, Peter. I'm... We're here to help Sweetheart. Oh, you're... Not fighting? No. We need you to take us to the Big Divide Meadow to get some blue alfalfa. It could help Sweetheart to milk again. Blue alfalfa? That's a good idea, actually. Come on. You want to be a goat, General? Show me what you got. Climb up there. Huh? But that's too high. Not for me. You must bring back as much alfalfa as possible. Don't worry. I'll fill up my bag. Here, take it all. You mind the goat, all right? Yes, sir. I'll be back in no time. Thank you for doing this for Sweetheart. That's what goat generals do. We never leave a goat behind. Huh? Oh. Little Bear? Is something wrong? Little Bear is gone. Can you mind the rest of the herd? Huh? have to do is make sure they stay around. The salt stone will keep them busy, but if one wanders away, grab some grass and tease her back with it. Oh. You'll be fine. Little Bell! <laughs> Little Bell! Um, all right. <laughs> Little Bear, come back here! <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> come back, you greedy! There is a cliff over there! Well done, 
Thanks, Teresa. has a really bad temper. You confronted him. You were very brave. You could become a goat general too. Well, that's something I'll never want to be. Anyway, three goat generals in Durfley is way too many. There are not enough goats to look after. Peter, did you get it? Mm -hmm. <gasps> I'm sure Sweetheart will get much better with all this. I really hope so, Heidi. <laughs> You're safe here. Oh. Come on, eat this. You'll feel better. Yes, <laughs> that's it. Eat well, my beauty. Yes. Hmm. Your turn. <laughs> All she needs now is a bit of time. But the butcher will come in the morning. Maybe we could keep her here tonight, so the butcher won't find her. Heidi, we can't do that. Johan and Alda won't understand. I'm sure they'll understand when they see that sweetheart milks again. Yes, and I will tell them it was my idea. You won't get into any trouble. Hmm. Just for tonight, then. If she doesn't get better tomorrow, I won't get in the Keller's way. Oh. Thank you, Grandfather. Now, Teresa, you should go back home. Have some rest and get well, my little sweetheart. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Teresa. <laughs> Where have you been? I... I was in the mountains. And where is Sweetheart? <sighs> Teresa. She's at the uncle's. What? The uncle? What are you talking about? Can't he mind his own business? He and Heidi are helping Sweetheart. So she will milk again. Nonsense! That little girl put ideas in your head and you listen to her. Teresa, you should know better. I'm sure they're just trying to steal our goat. No, they only wanted to help. And I'm sure it'll work. Say something, Johan. We can't let the uncle and his little horror steal our goat. <sighs> well, we'll go there in the morning and sort it out. It's too late to go now, anyway. Oh, and what about the butcher? He'll be here at the crack of dawn. Well, if he can come tomorrow, he can come back the day after. If Sweetheart milks again, that'll avoid the cost of buying a new goat, Alda. Now, let's have dinner. Not so oh. fast, miss. You go to your room. There's no dinner for you. This is outrageous. I want our goat right now. I told you, Alda. Huh? She's in the barn and she's safe. <gasps> Oh, sweetheart! You look so much better. Hmm, that doesn't make her milk. Now, take her and let's go. I'm sure she can milk today, Mrs. Keller. We should just try. <sighs> go on then, Uncle. We don't have all day. Okay, sweetheart. I won't hurt you. Hmm. Well? So how is sweetheart to... Oh. That's 
sweetheart. That's good. Oh. 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 Yes! That will probably be the best milk ever. Mrs. Keller? Well, I guess your trick worked, Uncle. It was all Heidi and Teresa's doing. And Peter. Mm. Mm. I think it would be best if Sweetheart mm. stayed here for a few more days, until mm. she's completely recovered. I hope this won't be too much of an inconvenience, Zelda. <laughs> well, I don't think we have a choice. We can't carry that poor animal all the way to the village. We won't bother you any longer, Uncle. Johan, Teresa, let's go. We need to open the store. Thank you, Uncle. And thank you, Heidi. Sorry about Elder. This whole incident has upset her more than it shows. I can see that, Johan. Thank you for saving Sweetheart, Heidi. You're welcome. Teresa! <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be a very good goat, General Heidi. Indeed you will. <gasps> <laughs> but you still have some tests to do. I am ready. <laughs> <laughs>